I'm doing this video from a different perspective. Now, I'm not even tripping off uh, the main video you guys were talking about because I didn't watch the video. I didn't watch the guy's video. I didn't give a fuck. I saw your video. I got as far as you playing that clip from uh, the little video, uh, the sound bite you bought, uh, you, you played. Um, this is me. I'm not a religious black man at all, but I do believe in God. I believe God is an entity that lives inside each and every one human being. How your inner God is projected is how you perceive yourself to be want to be seen. If in other words, I can spout all this shit about white people, everything that bad that white people have done to me. Just remember this, I can spout off all the shit that black people have done to me too. You know what I'm saying? In a perfect world, there is no hatred towards another race, period. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable from black people. It's not acceptable from white people. And yes, a lot of black people remember oppression. I remember oppression. I'm only 40 years old. You have to understand this. When you see your people being screwed over by a bunch of people, you tend to feel for those people who feel for you. I feel for a lot of white people who get caught in the crossfire of the BS. I feel for the white people who believe that they didn't have nothing to do with it. I feel for those white people who don't look in the right spot. What I'm trying to say is this. All this animosity, hatred and everything was created by white people. If you can't see it, then tell me when the black man was in charge. Tell me when a black person did these things to make these black people feel this way. Come on. When you hear people bitch about slavery, it's because people still benefit from black people being enslaved. See what I'm saying? I can understand how people just want to get on. But you need to understand one thing. The media has duped a lot of white people into believing a whole bunch of shit that is purely not true. And this same media has turned black people pretty much against black people. And I can explain it. Because the kids who grow up nowadays have no sense of nothing. That's white and black kids. See what I'm saying? Do you see where I'm going? The divide is not just the whites and blacks. It's not just the women and the men. Now it's the young versus the old. See what I'm saying? There's a lot of young white and black kids that don't give a shit about us old black and white people. Period. It's their world. They're going to run it. Fuck us. This problem with color is just us. But we realize that we are the ones with the same thought process, the same mental capacity to push people forward. Understand what I'm saying? In other words, while all of us old fuddy-duddies is arguing over race, our children are not giving a fuck. And those children who do, do give a fuck about race are tend to be the ones that are racist against the black kids. You don't just see a group of black kids seeking to search out white people to hurt, but there are groups of white kids that roam the streets of America searching out minority groups to hurt. In other words... A bunch of black guys might jump some white guy at a party, but they're not going to go look for a white guy to go jump. You see what I'm saying? And that mentality is stupid. Also, for white America, understand we were raised to love you and look after you and puppy you. We were raised to be your servants. Everything that we've ever seen on TV was the black guy helping the white guy. The black lady working for the white family. You understand what I'm saying? So if there's an animosity and hate between white and black, it's created upon by the media, by white people. I said it. How many black people on TV networks out there are showing black kids uh, with their pants hanging off their ass? How many uh, uh, networks out there owned by black people are showing white people being beaten up? Or white people being subservient to black people for 50 years, for 60 years, for 70 years. 
everything we learned is visual. Once they came out with TVs, people got stuck on stupid. And radio, what you hear sometimes you may believe. Remember Orson Welles? So come on, throughout the course of history, we have been taught to look up to you. We don't hate you, we despise you. And I don't, I don't give a damn about white people, I don't care. You just another person to me. You're no different than me. You're no better than I am. You can't be better than me. I will not allow you to be better than me. But I will not allow you to think that I want to be better than you. I'm equal. You guys made sure that happened. You made sure you were equal with me. Because when white man began to enslave the white man, that's when the black man was set free. Use your brain. Think about it. I'm not hurting you. Your own people are hurting you. You see black on black crime? Because they taught us how to hurt ourselves and not hurt you guys. We are not programmed to go out and destroy white people. So you may hear people talking about get off your ass, wake up and change the situation, but please. If we all marched right now, every black person and every white person that wants equality marched, there still wouldn't be enough of us to fight and destroy the races who are out there would rather see only one group of people, who would rather only see themselves, and who never see themselves as a group of people who would ever harm themselves. There would not be enough good old boys who want justice, good old brothers and sisters who want to fight the good fight. There's not enough of us to beat evil. So we can even march with the Klan. It won't even be enough Klan members to back the black people up, to back the white people up, to back anybody up against the hatred placed upon America by the rich power elite. You knock them five people off Mount Olympus and then you have peace on the bottom. But if you're scared to talk to the people who control you, don't blame black people. Don't blame black people for black people's problems. You blame those who enslaved the black people and taught the black people how to be Americans. This is the America you taught us. This is what we've learned from you. So if you see deceit, hate, fucked up shit, it's because it was a taught thing. You can't look at one black person born in America whose grandparents was born in America and say they're African. You can't. We have dark skin. I got white blood. Africans don't look like this. Africans don't even have these same facial features as us Americans. Did you know that? We have been mixed with your blood. We are the hybrid Americans. You thought you was going to come out like you, but they came out like them. Just like Blade. We can do all their shit without all their problems. You understand what I'm saying? We are hybrid. We have been created. That's why they call us African Americans. Now, your people drag my ancestors over here, rape, pillage, murder them up for 6,000 years or whatever, I don't know, fuck. Hundreds and hundreds of years, and you benefited from my ancestors being underfoot. And now that you're underfoot, you want to blame somebody. Don't blame us because you enslaved yourselves. That's what happened. We were never set free. You were enslaved. Shit. If you can't see it, I can't help you. I don't dislike white people. I don't hate white people. I hate the white man's master. I hate what the master had done to the white people. And I told somebody I'm going to change my whole focus. Because I'm tired of talking about black men not liking black women. I'm tired of seeing what I see when I walk down the street. I'm tired of cutting my hair in a certain way and I'm saying hi to some older white person. They say, fuck you, illegal to me. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of seeing white people scared to death that somebody's taking something from them when they threw the whole shit away themselves. If you want to talk like you the supreme master race, who fucked up? You did. Not me. Not them. Not the blacks. The shirt is black. The skin is brown. Not the Indians. Not the Mexicans. Who fucked up? You tell me who fucked up? If we were never in charge of nothing, who fucked up? 